In the animal world, being brightly colored is basically like sporting a big neon eat me sign. So it's no surprise that colorful animals are relatively rare in nature. But there's one big exception, the animals that live on coral reefs. They sport more colors and more different arrangements of those colors than anywhere else on Earth. How do reef dwellers get away with being so brilliantly bright? Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Minute Earth. For the very same reason that bright colors are risky, they make you easy to spot, they're a brilliant way for animals to communicate with each other, like showing off for a potential mate, or deterring a potential rival, or even advertising to a predator that they aren't good to eat. But because of the risks associated with being conspicuous, a lot of animals that do use bright colors to communicate flash those colors quickly, then stash them away. At least, this is how things play out on land. Since air doesn't absorb or scatter much light, bright colors can generally be spotted from pretty far away. In other words, the risks of being brightly colored tend to be pretty high for landlubbers. Water, though, interacts with light in very different ways than air does. First, it absorbs more light, especially at the ends of the visible light spectrum. So although up close this trigger fish is super colorful, from just a few meters away, about the distance most predators roam reefs looking for a meal, many of those bright colors totally disappear. The whole fish ends up looking bluish. Water is also full of particles that scatter light, which creates a kind of visual haze that dulls colors even further. Add in a background of mottled coral, some flickery underwater shadows, and the pretty poor visual resolution of most underwater predators, and that brightly colored fish has become basically invisible. So on a coral reef, the risks of being conspicuous aren't as big as they are on land. Yet the benefits are huge. Coral reefs are some of the most diverse ecosystems in the world, where tons of tiny fish are packed in like, well, sardines, and need to be able to know who's who both within a species and among species. Bright colors and wild patterns are great tools for this. And because these little fish are interacting at such a close range, the tiny bit of water between them doesn't scatter or absorb much light. Bright colors still look really bright. In other words, brightly colored reef fish get the best of both worlds. They can be super conspicuous to each other while also being well camouflaged from predators. It's this weird quirk that makes coral reefs some of the most colorful places in the animal kingdom. But if conditions on a reef change, the benefits of bright colors could disappear. For example, if warming temperatures force fish deeper, where less light means color fades even at close range, or if corals start dying off and can't pack in as many species, bright colors won't be as helpful for communication, and reefs could become much more drab. In some areas, like the Great Barrier Reef, where corals are degrading quickly, scientists have already started to document fish evolving into less colorful forms. And that's something that should make all of us a little blue.